everybody, my name is Sarish and today I welcome to my channel. My, my channel is called Sarish's Learning Lab. I'm sorry that I didn't do a video since 8 months but today I'm going to start a, start videos every week. So let's go to uh, let's go to the video. So first I'm going to tell about space. Space is a three dimensional this is a three dimensional boundless is a three dimensional thing which is boundless so space has a lot of galaxies but actually scientists have discovered that space is actually endless there's no end to space space has a large amount of universes so our universe is actually very big one of the biggest universes in the world so we have so now i'm going to talk about black hole a black hole is an object not a hole so a black hole is the object that sucks anything not even light or matter can escape it so stars which get to the event horizon which is the point where no, nothing can escape not even light or matter even if it's so much faster than light it can't escape so so the gravity how does a black hole form so the black hole forms when a star collapses into its own fuel because of its fuel so when uh, the star when the star reaches its end of its life a mini black hole is born it starts eating everything that's left of the star and before the stars even notice what happening the star collapses into a black hole so a black hole is actually it has three parts well i can only tell about two parts because i know two parts the singularity which is the middle part of the black hole the event horizon which is the point where you cannot escape so the singularity can come zoom so a black hole has the power to shrink things not like that but the singularity can shrink things now some things now some are... now some question so uh, why does a black hole absorbs or pulls everything towards it what is the main reason behind it well the main reason is is because of the gravitational pull of the black hole the gravitational force of the black hole is so much that's because a star has a very amount of gravitational pull but it doesn't have all the gravitational pull of the star so the mini black hole has a gravitational pull that is twice as strong as a star but when it collapses into a big black hole then it it is actually billions of times stronger than our sun only if it's a super massive but there's more black holes well we all know about these normal black holes these normal black holes just have millions of mass of our sun but a super massive black hole is billion but this is but did you know stars can actually eat black holes if they have enough mass that's actually true stars can eat black holes which have enough mass to consume the black hole like you why scooty can is 3 billion times bigger than our sun but a super massive black hole is just 1 billion so you why scooty can eat the super massive black hole but there not but there is not many super massive black holes there's only one and these ones can only form in the middle of a galaxy there's only one supermassive black hole not any other black hole so now i'm going to talk about galaxy a galaxy is a cluster is actually a cluster not actually it's not just gas and dust it has nebulas and it has stars and planets but the main thing which makes the thing galaxy makes a spiral or any other species is because of the gas dust so so that's all for today's video click the notification bell smash the like button and never miss a upload from me